Now, you only need one tack to achieve results, which is the topic of this conversation, of this short lesson <clears throat> in 45 minutes. And we will teach you, of course, core trading swing and position trading gap and grill intraday 60 minute 15.5. For my intraday trading, for example, I am a five-minute chartist specialist. I love trading relative strong stocks in a weaker market because more people will invest on the bullish side. I like to take advantage of short cover rallies. I know that the, the short cover, the people that short are often much smarter traders. Uh, there's only about 30% of the market that's in the short side, but I do know that when I find a bullish pattern on a relatively strong stock in a weaker market, that stock and that move is generally going to grow greatly. The reason I'm explaining this to you is not because you need to do this as well for yourselves, but because you need to be a specialist at one thing or another. I only trade two patterns, for example. I only trade NASDAQ stocks. I only trade pretty much between $10 and $50 stocks. I don't trade from zero to Google. I trade a very finite number of stocks. I make sure that they're quality, they trade properly, they have tight, tight, tight stop, excuse me, tight stops and a very, very small amount of spread between them. So when you can get to the point where you know you can wait for the very best of quality, you're going to take ownership of your trading and investing. Now on our swing and core trading, Angel and I, my wife's name is Angel, um, we will take, of course, listed stocks as well as NASDAQ. Our range will be a little bit bigger. Uh, we don't have quite the same requirements, but we always make sure we have at least a million shares average daily volume. In other words, I don't want you getting into what's called a roach motel where you can get in and you can't get out. I want to make sure you're trading liquid stocks to where you can get in and out quite easily, and you want to be where a lot of people are trading. If you don't have a lot of other people watching what you're trading, why would you want to be in it? You want them to help lift your trade up as well. And so that's the real key is being able to trade with the smart money on the professional side. Now, here's an example of a core trade, and I'm going to walk you through several examples now of extremely low risk, high probability trading. Now, I don't know which of these patterns you will choose. I don't know which one tactic will be the one that you will to, to specialize in. But here would be an example of a core trade where our students actually took 300. I also want to convince you of a couple other things. One. You don't need a lot of money to make money in the market. You don't. Number two, I want to be able to convince you that you can control the risk by creating tight stops for the trades you take and just wait till those materialize and then take them. I want to also convince you that you need to make sure your trades have great reward, reward to risk, risk to reward. We teach at Pristine that we really want you to have at least three to one risk to reward. Now, will you always take three to one risk reward? No, I don't think so. You may see signs of trouble. You may end up getting up to where you've made one to one, two to one. But the point is, if you're not choosing carefully with great tradable voids, if you're not choosing carefully where a lot of other people see great potential for the stock to make a move, uh, then it's really unlikely that you're even going to get one to one. So I don't want you to be looking at things that, you know, it's like thread the needle, eye of the tiger, where you're trying to just get in there and get out. A lot of people think even on intraday trading, go, Ron, why do you care what the weekly looks like? Why do you care what the daily looks like? You're just taking a small micro trade on a smaller time frame intraday in the 90 minutes you trade. I care because I want to make sure the people that are swing trading on the daily, on the weekly, the core traders, the 60-minute charts, I want to see as many people on my side as possible. I want to see such a tradable void with such great risk reward that you can drive a Mack truck through it. I want to see so much opportunity that people couldn't dispute or refuse the fact that they can get in and make money. And the more people I see doing that, the more my trade's going to work out more quickly. And that will be the case in all styles of trading and investing. How can you do this? You look at the charts. You wait from going from a stage one, which is why I spent a few minutes with you earlier. I wanted to show you how you could go from a stage one into a stage two, increased volume, how this would be the opportunity getting in. It has a $1.63 risk. Let's say that on a core trade, you're willing to risk uh, no more than $500 on a, on a core trade. Now, for you, it might be $300. For you, it might be $200. Some of you maybe can risk only $100. Some of you maybe more to 1000 But you take the most that you're willing to risk on a single trade, divide it by the stop amount that we have determined based on our chart under here, and you can buy 300 shares with this stock, which is $10, is $3,000. Our students really did make over $1,500 on four to five weeks, which is a 50% return on their money. If you could do that once a year, 
you would be outperforming every mutual fund, every hedge fund in existence, practically every one of them. And so now you might say, I have $15,000 that I want to grow my retirement account or my IRA. Okay, let's work on the next $3,000. We still have 45, 46, 47 weeks left in the year. So what it's, it's not a question of keeping that money invested every moment. It's investing at the right times. It's taking low risk. It's if you're wrong, not losing very much. It's making sure that the quality of your trade is quite good. Here's an example of a short. Now, in this case, we talk about how we would be shorting it right over here. And again, this is another pattern that we teach in our courses. And we want to help you learn how to take it. We have this coming up near an area of resistance, as you can see. We are in a macro stage four. We are downtrending. In other words, we are making lower lows, as you can see on the chart. So when we had an opportunity of shorting it here with a stop above here, the stop was 41 cents. We divided it into 300. You go, hey, wait, wait, Ron, time out. How come it went from 500 to 300? Because we went from a core trade down to a swing trade. We don't want to risk as much. The stop isn't going to be as big. And that we're working off of a daily chart instead of a weekly chart now. So in this case, we want to have a smaller stop on a swing trade. We take the $300, divided 41 cents, 700 shares, and that's $20,000. Now, it's not really 20 because in order to short a stock, you have to have a marginable account. Right, everyone? And so if you have to have a marginable account in, in the United States, of course, then it would only be 10,370 some odd dollars of your money at work for three to four days for over a $1,000 gain. Folks, that's over 10% on your money in three to four days, okay? Three to four days, all right? So that's how you look at that. Now, here's an example of an easy one, two, three play. And you can see how we teach this again where the stop is $1.81, it only took 165 shares, $13,000. If you have a marginable account, that's $6,500 of your capital. Our students made $2,000 in three to four days on a high quality, high quality entry with a tight stop, not more than 300. This is a gap trade, and our students recognized on a short term micro trading basis. What direction did everyone think the stock would go that's where it's coming down? Down, right? They would expect it. So when this stock gaps up here above all this area, it turned everybody in this area into automatic losers. Knowing this, we came down to a five-minute chart. Some of our students bought over the five-minute high, but the stop is a little bit too large for what we really like. So we then came down to a two-minute, and we found an 11-cent stop, folks, for an intraday trade, kind of trade that I might take. And we can take that 11 cents into $100. You might say, hey, hey time out again, Ron. That's $100. Why? Because on a micro trade, we don't want to risk as much as we do on a swing or a core trade. So in this case, we took 900 shares. You can round it and make it 1,000 shares. Now, what's the most you can lose if this trade doesn't work based on this trading plan? How much? Right, $100. You decide what your risk is, but you must make sure that you have your entry, your stop, and your target. Our students made over $400 in 10 minutes trading this on an intraday starting from the daily. In this case here, our students took another intraday trade where the risk was 100, the stop could be 13 cents or two, and our students really made over $1,000 in three minutes by taking the trade here, and you too can learn how to do this. You have to make sure you do it, timing it with the market. Now, in this case, it's called a late day breakout with a four cent stop under the base, and our students in this case with a $100 risk right here could have taken 2,500 shares. Wow, Ron, I couldn't take 2,500 shares. It's still a $100 risk. You have a tight stop under the base. Our students actually made over $800 in 15 to 20 minutes with a very small amount of risk. This is the type of trading you want to 